I have so many power. I have a little shaker. I have never touched those ones. I have the buskabash. Yes. I have ganduka gandusa. Mbeg Iwalonius. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Davidis. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City. New York City. Yes. <laughs> A nice New York City judge has served Donald Trump's behind. <laughs> yes. The judge reduced the bond he should have provided from $450 million to $175 million. Chicken change now. It's chicken change. This is not up to the amount of money that God's will have <laughs> used to celebrate his uh, birthday. The one that, yeah, the, that one. Yeah. Ha. Did, did Remy Tiribut attend Babio's uh, birthday celebration? Was he? Was she? Was she there? Was she there? In fact, in fact, in fact, this is not up to the money that Seaman Ikidemili used to build a rice mill in his hometown of Nobi. No. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the video. How much, how much does a bag of rice cost in your hometown? <laughs> yes, I want to know. In Nobi, when it comes to rice, people are no longer singing. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Two executives of Binance in Nigeria's custody have escaped. Did you hear the news? How did that make you feel? I want to know. The most prized hostages in Nigeria's history escaped from the hands of Nigeria's National Security Agency people. Unbelievable. <laughs> who, who, who does something like that? Even our bandits in forests across Nigeria are ashamed of our highly paid, highly trained, aka big gun carrying uh, national security agents. Think, think about it. Our bandits can kidnap 300 people, move them from Kaduna to Zamfara, on the foot, <laughs> from one forest into another. And all of them will arrive safely in their preferred forest. Can you imagine that? But our national security agents had only one job. Keep an eye on those two people. That's it. That was it. And still, they failed. <laughs> now, now the, the ransom that we were expecting from uh, Binance <laughs> was $26 billion. That was it. Yeah? Is it? Okay, that's what I read. <laughs> More than what we make from um, oil in a year. Now, according to the bandits, <laughs> who run the, our country. <laughs> Binance and their bunch of speculators stole that amount from Nigeria. Can you imagine that? And the Tinubu gang of bandits <laughs> want them to either turn over the names of top Nigerians who use their platform, Binance, to steal our money, or pay us the money. Very simple, QED. <laughs> now, now, the story was that the two hostages went to pray in a mosque in Abuja and from there they left Nigeria through the airport. Hey, hey. How is that even possible? The Nigerian security agencies are still with the, these guys' passports. Who allowed them to, to enter the plane without passports? Who? <laughs> now, it must be a miracle. I'm telling you. Nadim uh, Anja Anjawala must have been a prayer warrior. You know what I mean? There, there's no other way to explain it. He did his uh, Ramadan fast the right way. And Allah rewarded him in many ways. One of them was to leave Nigeria. What? What do you, what do you want me to say? Imagine what would happen 
when our security agencies finally arrest the highly prized hostage like God's will at Babio. Imagine that. How, how, would they, how would they be able to keep, keep him and stop him from escaping? How? Kafune fune diotua. Fune fune. Ogadiaga. Oh, are you ready for the big news? Forget all these things I've been talking about. Big news. If you are not sitting down, please sit down. S sit down, please. You, yeah. <laughs> Pastor Chris Oyekin Lome has performed 50 miracles where he raised the dead in the last one year. The last 12 months. Take a look. Between, uh, in the last one year, in the last one year, We've had more than 50 people raised from the dead. More than 50 people raised from the dead within the last one year. <laughs> he said it. He, did, 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 the man of God said it. 50 in the last one year. How many have you performed? <laughs> I, I, did, I, didn't know, I didn't know I would ever say this. That Jesus was lazy, a slack. You know what I mean? But there is no other way to put it. While a young 30-year-old Jesus could only raise Lazarus from the dead, this 61-year-old pastor, Chris Oyekin Lome, in the last one year, raised 50 dead people. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> you know, while some pastors are busy drinking tea with Jesus, Pastor Chris Oyekin Lome is busy going from mortuaries and, and raising dead people. In fact, in fact, in Plateau State, there was uh, an incident, one incident where he went to the graveyard, old graveyard, and raised someone who was dead for so long. What is the guy's name? Um, yeah, 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 that one, <laughs> General, General Go One. Yes, shame on you, Prophet uh, Indaboski. Shame on you. I have so many power. Le Badu se play la mande. I have a bit of shaker. I have never touched those ones. I have the boost cabbage. Yes. I have Ganduka Gandusa. Mbeg Iwalonios. <laughs> With all your powers, how many people have you raised from the dead in Daboski? How many? Nonsense. Your mates are going around hospitals, graveyards, and doing what Jesus did not do. What are you busy doing other than chasing clout in the Boski? I think uh, Holy Ghost uh, Convention Ministry, that's what the name of his church is. He's now performing a powerful miracle, a healing miracle, maybe healing anointing being transferred to a reverend sister of all people. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you. No, no. Don't, don't you, think about it, don't you feel like dying now? That Pastor Chris or Ekin Lombe is, is still around and has the power. Don't you feel like dying now? You better think about it, oh. By the time 5G gets to his uh, church, uh, sneaks into his pants, and kills his power to raise the dead, you wish that you died now. <laughs> Africans, who did this to us? Welcome. I'm not welcome. Yes, I got your call. Who sent this to me? My brother. Wow! Yeah, so excited! I need to go. Touch it. Hurry up! Hurry up! I'm so excited! Ta-da! Surprise! Yeah, wow. Surprise! I'm so excited! 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 I'm so Help me work out the people who do what? Run errands for you in Nigeria and in Ghana. Ghana. Say Ghana. Ghana. <laughs> Say Ghana. Ghana. Nigeria and Ghana. Say help me work out. Say help me work out. Say help me work out. Help me work out. Help me work out the help. people who run errands yeah. for you. If you're a member of our group, the people who do many of jobs abroad, please. Raise your hand. Ha <laughs> ha! We are many. Now, if you are one of the people, Nigeria's first lady, 
was making fun of. Please, 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 don't cry. Don't cry. What's that? Even all those people saying they are going to Japa or mm -hmm. they go there, what work are you going to do? Even with all their education, they're driving cabs. But they won't drive cabs here. Yes. <laughs> I know, I know. Please, please, please. Don't talk back at her. Don't do that. You know, it's not nice. Don't tell her there is dignity in legitimate hustle. No. Don't tell her two governors in Nigeria today drove a taxi when they were abroad. Don't. Don't waste your time. Don't tell her that it is better to be a taxi driver in Chicago than a drug dealer. No. Don't go there. When she goes low, go high. <laughs> you know, you know that uh, Remy Tunubu borrowed money from uh, the wife of the vice president. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't have money. Yeah, you know that she is so poor that she needs five billion naira from Nigerians to run her very important office of the first lady. Yes, here is what we, the Association of Nigerian Menial Job Workers Abroad, yeah, should do. All of us. We should go and open a GoFundMe for Remy Tunubu. Follow me. Let us donate 10% of our money from doing many jobs abroad. We will have raised enough money in four years to buy her sense. Nonsense.